Hello, hello, it's Miss Benina, and today I will be reading Adios Oscar, a butterfly fable by Peter Elwell. There was a house. In the window of this house, there was a flower pot. On a leaf of this flower, there was a little caterpillar. And if you asked this caterpillar his name, he would have said, My name is Oscar. That's just what he said when a butterfly flew in from the sky, landed on his flower, and asked him his name. Pleased to meet you, Oscar, said the butterfly. My name's Bob. I just flew in from G Detroit. And boy, are my wings tired. But seriously, do you know the way to Mexico? No, but I sure like those wings of yours, said Oscar. Thanks, said Bob. One day you'll have a pair of your own. Really? Oscar gasped. Count on it, said Bob. Then, fluttering off, on the passing breeze, he shouted, If you're ever down in Mexico, look me up! Oscar crawled as fast as he could to tell his caterpillar friends all about the wings he was going to grow and how he was going to fly far away, just like Bob the butterfly. No one listens to butterflies, Squirmy sneered. They just make stuff up. Besides, anyone with big, crazy wings has to be nuts, scoffed Wiggly. And anyone who believes them is nuttier, Nibbles laughed. Look at us, sang the three caterpillars. We're Oscar, the amazing flying nut. You're starting to bug me, Oscar growled. That's because we're bugs, they laughed. That's what we do. Then they saw a ladybug and off they went to prove their point by bugging her about the spots on her back. Don't listen to them. They're knuckleheads, whispered a little voice. It was Edna, the bookworm, peeping shyly from behind Oscar's flower pot. But they might be right, said Oscar. And they might be wrong, Edna suggested. Want to find out? Looking first this way and then that way, she silently motioned for Oscar to follow her. They crawled off the windowsill, then up a bookcase until they came to an old book made of shiny brown leather and decorated with gold. You can't judge a book by its cover, Edna said, inspecting a small door at the bottom of the book. It was the door to a library. As far as Oscar could see, there was nothing but bugs, books, and bookworms reading them. Wow, Oscar yelled. Shh, the bookworms replied. Don't worry, Edna said. They love to do that. Oscar and Edna found all kinds of books that said that caterpillars do grow wings and turn into butterflies and that the butterflies who look like Bob do fly all the way to Mexico. None of these books said that Bob was nuts. They said he was right. Oscar also studied maps. Mexico was thousands of miles away, which is quite far for someone whose whole world has been a flower pot. It was a little scary, but the more Oscar found out about all the different places he'd see and the different bugs he'd meet, the more he wanted to go there. Oscar also found out that they speak Spanish in Mexico, so he'd figure 
He'd like that too. He learned to say hello, hola, and he learned to say goodbye, adios. He learned to introduce himself so everyone would know who was saying hello and goodbye. Hola, mi nombre es Oscar. But will they know me when I'm a butterfly? Oscar asked. Sure, Edna replied. No matter what you are, you'll always be Oscar. Too soon, the time came for Oscar to take that long caterpillar nap they'd read about. He'd sleep, and when he woke up, he'd have wings. Before you go, let's learn one more thing," said Edna, and they learned how to say "good night." Buenas noches. Oscar went to sleep and dreamed of distant blue mountains, and of all the new friends he'd meet as he rode the wind out of Cleveland and all the way to Mexico. He slept, and he slept, and he slept some more. Then one day, Oscar woke up. As he yawned and wiggled out of his cocoon, he felt something else wiggle on his back. Wings! He had wings, but something wasn't right. He also had an appetite, a big one, and. Why was he craving socks? Hey, Oscar! Nibble shouted from inside the closet. Taste this designer sweater. It's yummy! Look at us! Yelled Wiggly. We're flying around a light bulb for no reason. Wee! Cried Squirmy. Fighting the urge to head for the light bulb, Oscar flew into the mirror instead. Oh no! He cried. Someone made a mistake. I'm not a butterfly. I'm a moth. Now Oscar would never ride the wind. He would never see Mexico. For the rest of his life, he'd fly around a light bulb or sit in a drawer eating old socks. Oscar tried to make the best of it. Even with nowhere to go, flying sure beat crawling, and socks actually tasted pretty good. But when Oscar said. More socks, please. In Spanish, it made him sad. It just reminded him of the blue mountains he'd never see. Más medias, por favor. He might have forgotten all about Mexico, but one bright night, Oscar happened to land on his favorite flower in the window. He hadn't come back there since he'd become a moth, and looking around him, a tiny piece of paper caught his eye. There was writing on it, and this is what it said: "Dear Oscar, amazing things can happen when a moth thinks like a butterfly. Write me from Mexico. Love." Edna. Oscar felt the moon beckon to him, like a big light bulb in the sky. Yes, he was a moth, and what a moth! Adios, amigos," said Oscar. "I've got a postcard to write," and off he soared up, up toward the moon. And into the great night sky. Where are you going? Squirmy called after him. You won't get 
far, shouted Wiggly. What amigos, Nibbles asked. Can you eat it? The other moths figured that he'd be back as long as there was a porch light to fly around. After all, they said, a moth, he's a moth. That's what we do. But that's not what Oscar did. Even with the porch light on, he never came back. However, there are blue mountains in Mexico. High in these mountains, there's a green field that is alive with countless butterflies. In the middle of this field, there's a flower. Sitting on this flower, you'll find a moth who's writing a postcard to a friend. If you ask this moth his name, he'll most likely say, Mi nombre es Oscar. Dear Edna, I thought like a butterfly. Love, Oscar. P.S. Bob says hi. The end. Winnow bye.